Hi everyone, this is Dora the Fluid Crafter and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a very special um, design team project to share with you guys today. It is for um, LGAB Instaprints and I will link her down below. She is a wonderful, wonderful lady. Um, please go and check her out. She has been so kind and so amazing through all of this. Um, she just told me to take my time and uh, do uh, do what I can when I can, and that has been such a help through this because I wanted to have it done in December, uh, but because of circumstances, uh, I was unable to finish it in December. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get through this. My brother was the one that um, gave me the idea for it and um, some of the story for it so um, it's every time I worked on it it was um, it was uh, it was a little rough at times but I have it finished and I would like to share it with you guys so without further ado I have my um, steampunk apocalyptic journal and so what I've done is I've taken an old purse I have disassembled the whole thing pockets um, tuck areas and you know how a purse has got all those little areas you can put stuff in all of it's all of it was taken apart and then put back together in a certain way and so I uh, kept the two pockets on the front are the one on the front and the one on the back and I have just sewn around all the edges by hand uh, to kind of give it the um, you know handmade you know you can get no sewing machine so if you're gonna make something you literally got to stitch it by hand uh, it's got four signatures I sewed it onto the back like this it is not even it's not intended to be even perfect anything like that it is intended to look as if you know someone is doing this to keep record that may not make journals that may not make um, you know items like this but have learned uh, how to maybe make their own little keepsake and so I did the three hole pamphlet stitch and here I just did a little back and forth weave and I left a little tail here to make it kind of look like it's been um, um, uh, fixed or mended you know what I mean so uh, it gives that kind of impression that oh no something's happening let's mend this up because I you know I need to keep it so um, there's that and the closure is really unique as well as you can see here the it closes all the way up and so what i've done is i left the um, uh, buckles and the straps here this was just a decorative piece on the side of the um the purse but i kept it on here so that way it acts as a partial closure and instead of using the actual hole I pop the hole in here to give um, the impression that she needed to alter it to make it bigger kind of like you do your 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 uh, belt when you need another loop so both of them are done in that manner and so you undo this and then here I have stitched on buttons and they're um, um, sorry um, magnets so it just pops together and pops open like that and then on the front here we have a big key which goes to, which is something that she can't lose because it goes to her locker box or her storage box that her mom gave her kind of like one of those um, uh, hope chest you know you get when you were younger and then this was her dad's watch that she didn't want to lose and so she has put it here so that way she can keep track of time or whatever now the watch 
face it doesn't actually work um, I picked it up at a thrift store um, but I thought you know why not use it on this okay so let's let's look at the first thing so in the first thing is inside this pocket what's the one thing that you need if you are in an apocalyptic world you need something to eat with right something that's not going to tarnish rust or anything so she keeps this in here so that away anytime she goes for food or she finds food she always has something to eat with and so that's tucked into the front of that pocket now when you open it up like this on the top piece here she has kept a piece of her mom's necklace so that way she can always remember her so that is there and you can see here that this lays absolutely flat and it rolls right along so you don't ever have to worry about the the spine bending or anything of that nature it's completely soft and so here on this first page, I just added in this little uh, books, and you can write your name on there, or you can, uh, this book belongs to. This is the steampunk kit that she has, absolutely beautiful. I just put a little label here with a stamp on it. On this first page here, I just put a big pocket. Inside this pocket is her Now, during an apocalypse, money doesn't matter anymore. And so the new uh, form of monetary funds are tickets. So you have to have a ticket to eat and you have to have a ticket to ride. Anywhere you go, you got to have a ticket. And I'm assuming that because nothing runs anymore, that there would be horses or wagons right back, you know, in effect. So there's that. Here is a what she could use as a food chart it is a piece of a le half a piece of a ledger but she can keep track of where she goes for food and along those lines and you can always journal on the back just tuck that back in there like so there is plenty of room in here to write. This here is an altered uh, packaging that I made with a little label, some scrapbook paper. This is from the kit, and then some coffee or tea, tea dyed uh, paper you can journal on. This slides into there, this little tuck area. That comes out. I did some stenciling throughout. I also did um, some stamping. Uh, these, I'm not sure, I'll show you on a different one where I could pull it up a little bit closer, but this is stamped on, on tea dyed paper, and then I ripped it out, and then I glued it down to give it the impression of 3D. Um, I can show you a better one up close in a moment, but this is just some stenciling. Here is another one, it's got a little label on the bottom of it as well this here is a flip out it's got a little journaling card here and two tags here this is uh, Tim Holtz ephemera or Tim Holtz tag is uh, one of his um, scrapbooking papers um, here is another one of those stamped images and then glued down actually let me see if I can get this one up there close to you so that you can see what I've done here and so you can see where it's been ripped and then glued down so it kind of gives it a different uh, feel like a watermark almost maybe I'm not really sure how to describe that but it, it's really cool looking though um, and then some more stenciling here and some more there and this also is a little tech area that you can put something into uh, let me grab one of these and I can show you like so this here is um, also from uh, the kit it's an envelope I cut the sides off so it would lay flat and I could fit more in here 
These are all of the photos that she has wanted to keep. These are the Tim Holtz uh, people photos, old photos. And then these here are from the book that my brother gave me. And so there's just two kids playing in an old car, uh, three little kids taking a bath outside in little scrub tubs, um, an old um, a car that someone might have, that someone found. Here are some pictures of maybe friends where they where she used to go um, four wheeling up in the mountains. Here is a picture of a machine that her father helped build. And then here is a picture of two boys reading. And it actually, I kept the little story up here so that way if you wanted to read that, you are more than welcome to do so. And so I just tucked these into here for her memories. And then on this side, I left the flap and so that way you could use it as a little tuck area. This is from a magazine and I thought well she wanted to remember the way that maybe her house looked or maybe how to uh, rebuild or restructure something herself. And some more stenciling there. Here's another one of those stamped and then glued down. This here's a little tuck area. And when you pull this out, there is a really big Tim Holtz um, paper that I cut into a tag. This here's another magazine clipping. This is on um, eco dyed paper. Some more stenciling. Another one of those little stamps. And then there's various of these. And what I've done with these is I just took a stamp. Now I didn't want it to, you know, stamp perfect. I wanted it to be offset so it's not a clear picture. But maybe something that she found that was artistic that she liked and she wanted to keep. Or maybe these are her own drawings or, you know, something that she wants to keep herself. Or maybe something she found in a gallery or a book or, or something along that nature kind of for inspiration because after all this would be an, um, uh, an apoc apocalyptic journal for a crafter <laughs> and then here I, is this is from the kit it just says steampunk here and then some gears it was all together and I just ripped it in half and made two little tuck areas and so this here is um, a piece of an envelope that's later on in the journal and so I made it look as if it was um, burnt or maybe partial destroyed and then a partial scripted letter on the inside on some tea stained paper maybe a letter from her dad or a letter from her mom or maybe a relative or a friend that she wanted to keep and that just tucks up in there and then down here are some extra pieces that I did not use from the Tim Holtz paper. And so this one's a plane and a little travel ticket. And then this one here is from the airlines. So I thought that would be kind of cool to include. These papers are so gorgeous. And then just another uh, label with a key. Some more stenciling. A little stencil there. This is from the kit, so I just made it into a tuck area. And inside here we have a tag and it says, Today we did, and it's got the little moustache on there. Then we have some engine patents. And then two receipts. One is a copy and one is a regular. And then another little label. This one has a barcode on it. Here's, I made a pocket out of the Tim Holtz paper. And inside of this one is a postcard, uh, a telegram, and this is um, <clears throat> a passport postcard that I got from Paper Direct. 
Uh, if you guys don't have not heard of them, you need to go check them out. They are absolutely fabulous. Got some really cool things in there. Some gear stamp stenciling. Now here's a few of these, and um, let me see if I can bring this up a little bit because now you'll be able, to, maybe you'll be able to see what I mean by these. So you can see that the paper itself is a lighter color. Let me see if I can get a clear picture here. Let me see if I can focus. Okay, so this here is on dark, and so then I glued it down to kind of make it stand out. And then these two here are done the same way, and you can almost barely tell that they're there, but when you look at it like, you know, here, it almost looks like it's been watered, like there's, it's been weathered, and so I really like that look, and so that's why I was doing that. Okay, now let me see if we can get focused back here. Okay. Okay. And so there's little pages, and then there's big pages that fold out and things. Here's another one. It's science. I love this page so much. And then it's got a little label with a little research stamp on it. And then here is, um, <clears throat> sorry, um, hydraulic pump um, uh, diagram. And then it's got um, a little... Um, a little journal card here that I backed onto some um, cardstock, and it's got these kids playing and this uh, little machine that they built uh, for gardening, and it it's it's really cool looking. It's really unique actually, and so then this one here, these are just uh, this is a ephemera, an ad for uh, uh, for farming, and then this one here is another uh, patent diagram vintage. And then here's another uh, flying machine patent diagram. <clears throat> so there's lots of vintage uh, ephemera and things. And then this one here is done the same way, except I put a little script and then official record. Like she's, you know, trying to keep record of things that she's finding or maybe uh, what exactly happened to the world and of that nature. Here's a little side tuck area and in here I just put um, a little tags and then a journaling card here a little small one and then a big music journaling card here and then I just put a paper clip on there just to make sure that it didn't um, fall out here is some old cars and then a little uh, balloon stamp there. This is a big belly band, so it does go all the way through. And here we have some old vintage ads, sewing machines, typewriters, and then a smaller version of these, which is the typewriter, the scales, the pen, and things of that nature. And then here is another one of those uh, misstamped images uh, to give the impression of art or a drawing or things that she might want to keep. Another one of the stamps that folds out. Here is uh, a little stamp that I uh, glued down off of um, darker tea dyed paper and it's for a photo. And then down here is a stamp of a um, um, picture, like a part of a picture reel. Here's some more of that um, eco dyed paper. It looks really weathered, so it goes great with this. And then here I did um, hand stitching. Uh, now I wanted it to look, you know, authentic as I could, and so what I did is I uh, stitched the two together and then stitched around um, and then made pockets. So this is could be where she keeps her uh, fabric patches or scraps to mend her journal, mend her clothes, mend her book bag or a hat or anything that she might find that she wants to keep. And so both of these are pockets. <clears throat>
here is one of the pieces from the kit love these also backed on a piece of um, cardstock so that you can journal on it here's another tuck area and you'll notice that most of the paper clips that I use are the ones that are coated <clears throat> um, because in that time period uh, most of them would have rusted or broke or maybe not be so efficient and so these here are the ones that she found that have lasted and so these are the ones that she's using for the most part this tag here was gifted to me um, from um, beautifully vintage notebooks here is um, a vintage ephemera piece that I backed onto some cardstock and then another little typewriter tag. These are from Crate Paper. Here's another one of those stamped images. And then some more stenciling here in the crease. This is a big envelope and so I kept this to be able to tuck into like so. Here's another one of those imperfect stamps and a journaling card. And when you flip it over and it flips back out, this is the other side of the cards. So I left it blank and I left this blank also. And so as you notice, it's open on both ends. So it kind of acts like a belly band, but I put a paper clip up here so that it wouldn't slide. And so whatever is more comfortable for you, you know, however you want to do it, if you want to make it a pocket and seal that off, you're more than welcome to, or you can seal this and use it this way. And so I left it open and I just placed in two um, big index cards and I've just kind of stained around the edges. Maybe she found something in her craft stash that wasn't quite ruined and she wanted to put it in here before it actually got ruined that's what I would do if I was in that situation and so that just folds back down here's a little label here's a little balloon image from the kit I love the balloons so so much some stenciling and then here is a uh, big pocket on the side and it's of an old advertisement from 1898 and we have a big postcard backed onto some cardstock and then we have an old vintage letter and that you can barely even read anymore so I thought why not put that in there because that would be perfect look it looks white to me on the camera but if you can see that right there so you can see that there is writing but it's so so faint and so I wanted to add that along with the um, I stamped it on a piece of paper but it looks like a stamp and so maybe she kept the stamp that came with the letter and she just did not want to get rid of it because it had so many memories for her. And this one is the other side of the science. And so I just put a little label with a flower and a little bit of um, information down here about the flower. Oh, let me scoot back this way. Sorry, guys. Make sure I'm focused that flips out this here is the other side where the big belly band was and so I just took the other piece to it and made a big pocket this is um, an envelope that I've had in my stash for ever and ever and ever and inside the envelope I put in one of her one of the songs Mary had a little lamb that her mom used to sing to her and then another postcard and then we have a tag and another receipt so lots of ephemera lots of places to journal I try to uh, you know think of the things that maybe a crafter would do but also a survivalist you know what I'm saying because me if it was an apocalyptic world I, I, I think the first store I'd hit would be Tuesday morning in Hobby Lobby. I wouldn't even be going to the places that most people go to because 
there's no electric and there's probably no running water and there's no none of that other stuff so I'd want to get the stuff that I know I like first <laughs> I probably even wouldn't want canned food you know what I mean anyways now I left a big space in the middle between them because I wanted to make sure that as the journal gets bigger that there's plenty of room for adjusting so I did want to make sure that that was you know done and then here is um, another envelope and then I kept the back side of it and then you just have a little Tim Holtz piece of uh, cardstock that I made into a tag and then another piece of Tim Holtz that I made into a little ticket and then that just tucks right in back in there and then on this side here, there we go, is just a little journaling card. When this opens up, there are stamps inside here. I don't want to take them all out, but there are stamps inside there. Some of that eco dyed paper. I just love that eco dyed paper. And then on this side here is one of the trifold pockets. And so I put some more of the tickets in the back. I made a tag out of the Tim Holtz paper. Another piece of a letter that she has found. And a, an engine diagram. Because, you know, during that time, you, you're going to have to learn how to do stuff all over again, right? I love this page, too. It's got all the maps and the clocks and the gears. Gosh, I love clocks and maps. So, yes. And so this here, I left this side blank, but this here is maps. This side is to journal locations, uh, places, lists, anything like that. And so when you turn the page... It has the map that I was showing in the previous video that has home and danger. So that way she knows where she's going. Two more journaling or list making for items she may need or maybe always looking for. Here is the other side. And so we have food, supplies, and water. So that she can always get back to those places. And then also another list making side. Here's another one of those and this one's a mushroom. Here's a little tuck spot with two more map pieces that she found of different areas that she would like to explore but hasn't quite explored them a whole lot. And so there's one. Eat, the backs of them are blank so you can journal on them as well. And then there's the other side. Here's another one that's got little um, blotches. Here are two small belly bands. And so we've got two tickets and a tag tucked in here. Then we have two tickets and an altered uh, packaging in that one. And then this is also a little tuck area. And this is where she has started to uh, explore and start looking for more of that artwork or maybe explore with her drawing or you know things of that nature here is the other piece of that envelope that the top was ripped I was showing you so here's this one inside this little tiny belly band here are two pieces of boarding passes so I put those in there along with a um, transport document and a 75 cent uh, note so I thought those would be kind of neat to put in there together Mushroom, some more mushrooms. This here is a journaling card from that crepe paper. 
And we have a couple more tags. Here's um, some vintage um, um, advertisement. And it's also backed onto cardstock and another one of those misstamp, misprinted stamps. Love that page too. Oh, I love steampunk. Anything steampunk. This here is her um, gardening area where she's keeping track of how to garden, how to, uh, what plants do, what, what happens if they get sick. And so I have included a lot of, uh, from my vintage gardening book. And so all of these open up and they have detailed information about plants. Here is just a, uh, a picture of blackberries that I glued down. And then this here is uh, protecting your fruits. And then over here is a long, uh, batch of um, um, the names and then how many days it takes the color that they come into and all the remarks from the book and in the back are the same things as these over here so there's tons of them in there I'll let you explore those here's the other side of that key paper here is the last signature and it also has a little label there with a stamped uh, a, a stamped stamp image <laughs> say that three times fast here is a map belly band and inside here is the um, is a uh, journaling card of France and then the other side of that ledger paper and here she can document where she travels to and all that good stuff and it's blank on the back so you can journal on that as well. Here is her gaming area where she can do things to keep herself occupied and she recently has discovered a, a crossword in a magazine that was not damaged yet so she kept that and a little maze. Here is a big crossword um, scrapbooking paper with a little bit of the cards, um, the symbols for the playing cards. Here is a music pocket, and inside this music pocket is Ba Ba Black Sheep, a little date tag, and then a postcard from the kit that I just backed onto some cardstock. And then because I just love making these is a little envelope tiny tiny envelope with some of the Tim Holtz ticket stamps super super cool and it's just on regular craft paper um, now this envelope is um, it's not my envelope it is from a digi kit and I can't remember who it was but I shrunk it down so it would be a little teeny weeny envelope and it just tucks right into there another one of the labels here is a top tuck with some tim holtz paper and then in here is a little tag from a map um, this here is an advertisement for thimbles and here is a journaling card from the kit, and then it's just backed onto some cardstock. This is um, another journaling card from the kit, and it's backed on cardstock. And then when you take the paper clip off, this opens up for you to journal on. Here is another three pocket 
and it just has some journaling cards in there. Uh, this, these two are stenciled, and then these two are butterflies. And then I just kind of added in some uh, fussy cut eggs and moths just to decorate a little bit. Because, I mean, when you're living in apocalypse, you know, you're trying to save glue, you're trying to save all these things, but you, then you're trying to document and learn and, you know, so. And then here's the bottom piece uh, from the top uh, corner tuck. I'm sorry, excuse me. This is the bottom tuck. And so in here, we have um, a little tag from the Tim Holtz paper. And then we have a, a journaling bingo card from the kit. Back onto some tea dyed paper. And then we have a uh, scales advertisement. And then we have two diagrams for building. Here is a little side pocket. This is some Tim Holtz paper, and so is this, made into two little tags that go into the pocket sideways. Left it blank so that you can write on it. Here on the other side, we have um, two journaling cards. This one's from Crate Paper. And then here is a vintage uh, piano and organ ephemera backed onto some cardstock. And then on the last page here is a just a top tuck area, and we have um, an altered packaging. We have a journal card from the kit. I love this one in the balloon on cardstock, and then an old vintage um, how to make keys and pockets for your keys. to turn on my do not disturb again so let me fix that there we go and I apologize my fingers in the way okay so then here on the back of it we have um, a brooch that uh, maybe her mom wore that she wanted to keep and then down here we have buttons on some bulb pins that she is keeping so that she can fix something if she needs to and then when you close it in the back for the back pocket is where she keeps her alteration stuff which is a very minimal because she carries it with her and so she found a binder clip that has a smiley face on it to remind her to keep smiling that she's going to get through this and when you open this up it's just a little sewing kit and so you have your needles and your needle threader. You have two safety pins. You have your thread here hanging on a little bulb pin and then a uh, uh, thread ripper. Now this is a foam plate that's right here that she is sticking the tip of her um, needle ripper into because of course I mean you know she doesn't have a tip for it she just found it somewhere and that keeps her from poking herself when she opens it you're more than welcome to alter that here is a piece of very soft fabric that she found and so she's saving this for something special and that's why it's in here and not in the journal so that is what she is doing with that and that just closes up and then it just goes right back into that pocket. Now you're more than welcome to uh, put something else with it or do something else with it, but she's keeping this so that way she can do things on the go. She doesn't have to stay in one spot. And then here I can show you up close the um, what I did to uh, put that on there. So it's just a little piece sewn 
on both ends and then it just attaches like that and then it's closed up and then that is the journal now along with this there we go along with this you will receive three different sized quad pockets so if you want to put these in there you're more than welcome to you will also receive four squares of fabric. Now these are like um, upholstery fabric. These are not like um, uh, you would get like at um, Joann's for uh, making dresses and stuff like that. These are upholstery fab fabrics. So you'll get these. Um, you will also get um, some Tim Holtz um, pieces. Let me spread these out a little bit. And so you've got some letters and numbers, and then you've got some uh, pieces from the circus uh, paper that he had. So I'm going to also include these. And you can have some fun with that. I'm going to include some uh, little fussy cut um, eggs and, and butterflies and moss. This here is a little banner that says love. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. It's backwards, I think, but that's okay. And so you could put that in there. Maybe she ran into someone that she knew from the past or you know, who knows, maybe she met a new friend and she wants to write about him or her. Or... And then I'm going to include some of these little stamped images and a label. Um, there's actually some, quite a few stamped images. Now, this one here is a travel record and then some of the Tim Holtz tickets and stamp images. So if you want to add those in there. These are just the ones that I uh, did put in there. And here are the ones for the um, compasses, the hand, some stamps, and then uh, one of those uh, viewfinder pieces. And um, there is something that I'm going to be making that I don't want to show that I'm going to be adding along with this. So that will be a surprise to whoever buys it. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I think my, I think my brother will be, will be proud of it. And um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys next time. Be blessed. Bye-bye now.